Aloha everyone, my name is Kavena Villafania and for my senior capstone proposal presentation, I'll be presenting a social media campaign that I organized um, to kind of combat and bring to light parasocial relationships throughout social media. So I am a transfer student from UH Palamanui here on the Big Island and I'm also based on the Big Island and I went to Makualani my entire life and graduated there in 2018. And then I started school at UH West Oahu in 2021. And I'm a general creative major, creative media major. For my senior capstone project, I wanted to create a social media campaign to inform young adults and teenagers about setting boundaries for their parasocial relationships. And a parasocial relationship is a one-sided relationship between a group of people or a person and a media persona like a celebrity or a pop star and it's one-sided in the sense where the supporters and the fans know and invest an excessive amount of time and energy into that persona but that persona doesn't know that much about them about their supporters just on a, a fan base kind of level for my thesis my thesis is um Social media has exacerbated consumerist parasocial relationships with media personas resulting in excessive harassment, the need for personal involvement, and an increased desire for control between both parties. And then my objective slash rationale was to investigate how social media has played a part in the dynamics between a persona and their supporter, um, but more so bringing to light that their are both positive and negative factors for the persona and their fans. So a uh, celebrity can be in the wrong with how they influence their fans and fans can also be in the wrong with how they behave towards their idol. And then significance is, I personally have seen like throughout social media that a lot of people my age who are part of Gen Z are very much aware of so a pair of social relationships and that they are in it, but it's become so normalized that they don't necessarily want to do anything about it it's just like a, a form of escapism for them and so my goal is to inform mainly gen z and uh, generation alpha who are the upcoming generations of what parasocial relationships are and how to combat them and then this is a um uh, my thesis statement yet again so social media has exacerbated consumers parasocial relationships with media personas resulting in resulting in excessive harassment, the need for personal involvement, and an increased desire for control between both parties. And then, as I previously mentioned, my goal was to um, bring to light how like good parasocial relationships can be because there are benefits to it, but also how social media has caused it to kind of worsen as everything has evolved. And I guess to also preface this is I'm, like I mentioned, uh, part of Gen Z, that is my cohort. So I've grown up as social media has grown up in a sense. So I've gotten to see how it has affected um, my generation and the generations that are coming up. And um, it has been interesting to see how everything has kind of unraveled as technology has progressed and advanced over time. And then the, um, the actual project that I plan to deliver at the end of the semester is a social media campaign that would draw um, attention to how severe parasocial relationships can be and how they have, how intense they have become. Um, but then more importantly, how to combat them. So basically just like listing off the different levels of, um, of parasocial relationships and allowing people to identify where they belong in those levels and then knowing how to react and set boundaries between them and that person so that it doesn't get to the um, borderline pathological level. For significance, um, like I already mentioned, I have, I was, I actually learned about parasocial relationships a few years ago, but I started to see people on social media use that word a lot more, almost as if they're also kind of aware that it's happening. And these are just some examples that I put up. So like the top row is um, K-pop stars and how they have like very intimate fan calls and fan signs with their fans and they get to literally talk to their fans one-on-one, -on -one, which in a way is like really sweet, but also can be a bit like 
can kind of feed into like the parasocial aspect. And then these are just some of the like bigger pop stars here in the US that have um, very, very large fandoms that contribute to that online as well. And um, I, I think I wanted to also clarify that with parasocial relationships, people have kind of normalized it in a way and being invasive, which isn't isn't really a good thing. Like as much as it is an escape for people, I think there should be some sort of boundary and and knowing like how much is too much. And moving on to the second, oops. So the second point for significance is, um, like I said, like I belong to generation Z. So I think my generation has started to realize how, how toxic parasocial relationships can be. And I know that the numbers are kind of mixed that there's people who who are aware of it and, and condemn it. And there's people that really don't care um, and then this is just a statement that I, I found that um, it it kind of contributes to like how we're labeled as the loneliest generation and how we just seek that attention and attachment to people that we don't know because it's the easiest and it's, yeah, it, it's, it doesn't allow for any type of rejection at, to some extent. And then this is also um, just a preface before I get into my target audience. So I want to include this to show that um, Gen Zers are the ones who are spending the most time on social media when it comes to like more than four hours and so on and so forth from like this, from less than one hour to two hours, it's not that bad. But then as it reaches the three to four hours, it's pretty intense. And then going on into my target audience, my main target audience would be primarily the cohorts Gen Z and Gen Alpha, since they are the younger generation that are on social media right now. But more specifically, those who are part of both cohorts that identify um, within the entertainment social level parasocial relationships. So like people who are general consumers of social media and then the intense personal, which are those who are aware of their relationship with these personas, but don't really do anything about it. And then uh, the last one would be the personas and influencers and idols that are um are kind of cultivating these relationships with their fans and knowing how much is too much for them. And then the significance in terms of my discipline and community is, well, I'm a general creative media major and because I've been studying content creation, I think it's important for, for content creators to understand that they have so much influence and power over the supporters and viewers and to know how much is too much and that to an extent it is your job. It's not like a full-on relationship and conversely how crucial it is for fans and supporters to know that that their connection with their idol is transactional like you they put time and money and energy into that person while that person entertains them and then for the preparation process to prepare for this campaign because I'm very like uh, task driven I plan to create what I'm going to do um, schedule wise per week um, so that I know what I want to how much I want to finish for the end of, of the semester and then for production I plan on creating um, infographics and both short form and long form videos and um, for my posts I like I said my final deliverable will be um, everything that I created for um, for my social media campaign which I also have a question of, about, which I will, I will discuss at the end. And this is just an example of the infographics that I would include in my social media campaign. And then this is, um, oops, actually, wait, hold on. These are just videos that I linked of um, work that I did for another class of the style of video that I would create for like my long form. And then the short form of that would be just like bits and pieces of highlights of those of the longer video to post on like TikTok and Instagram reels and such for those who like that kind of short form kind of content. And then, yeah, that will conclude my presentation. Um, if you have any questions, please let me know.